Alright, time to review a little trigonometry. So, we're going to change these first few into radians and degrees, and actually I'm probably going to graph the angle first. Um, 7 pi over 3. So if you th see the over 3, that's 180. If you think pi over 3, that's a third of 180, or 60 degrees. So that's a 60 degree angle, and we have 7 of them. So if you graph it, we've got 3, 6 pi over 3, and then there's another pi over 3. That's 7 60 degree angles, or 7 times 60. So that's 420 degrees. A lot of you are getting used to using um, pi over 180, or 180 over pi, because those are equivalent, and just using that ratio. The pi over the pi cancels out. 180 over 3 gives you that 60 that I was talking about. And then C, two angles coterminal. So, coterminal means just one more time around or one less time around. So we already drew it, and so we can add or subtract 2 pi. Or, in this case, because it's over 3, 6 pi over 3 if you multiply top and bottom by 3 over 3. So, subtract 6 pi over 3, and you get 3 um, over 3, and that's what we got before. And if you add 6 pi over 3, and actually I'm going to subtract it one more time so I can get that negative one. pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3, and you get a negative 5 pi over 3. All right, negative 5 pi over 4. Those are 45 degree angles, because if you multiply by 180 over pi, pi's cancel out. 180 divided by 4 is 45. And so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 45s, and 1 past it. And so we're right here for our angle. And so that's going to be 225 degrees. And a negative one. So, part C, add or subtract 2 pi, which in this case is going to be 8 pi over 4. So negative 5 pi over 4, um, and let's go plus 8 pi over 4, and that's the same thing as 3 pi over 4, which makes sense because we're coterminal with that one. And if we go the other way, subtract 8 pi over 4, we get negative 13 pi over 4. So there you have it. 1, 2, positive, negative. 450. Think, well, that's 360. Uh, let's come back to that. Um, Multiply by pi over 180 in this case. And if you want to, think about leaving just the 180 out, or this is the zeros cross out. You get 45 pi over 18. Which is the same thing, take a 9 out of the top and bottom. 5 pi over 2. And so 5 pi over 2 is that angle in radians. Graphing it, 450 is 360 plus another 90. And so we're going to go one time around plus another 90. And so it's going to be going straight up as an angle. Add or subtract 360 to find a coterminal angle. So 450 minus 360, 90 degrees, coterminal. If we do another 90 minus 360, negative 270 degrees. So one positive, one negative. There are infinite answers for questions like these because you can keep adding and subtracting 360 however many times you want. 330, we can multiply by pi over 180 because we want our degrees to cancel out. Again, you don't need to because some of us are th thinking in radians and degrees. So if negative 330, that's 
all the way around, but 130 degree less. And so if you want to think in terms of over 6, and we have almost all of them, negative 11 pi, because 12 pi over 6 would be all the way around. Um, again, if you continue this way, you can do 33 over one, 33 over 18 with the pi in there, take out the common 3, and then you're left with negative 11 pi over 6. Add or subtract 360, set it already, 330 plus 360 equals 30 degrees, and negative 330 minus 360 is negative 600. And 90. So almost all the way around to 720, but not quite. All right, exact values. For these, what you want to think of are all your 45s are going to have root 2s in them, and all your 30, 60, 90s are either going to have a 1 half or a root 3 over 2. And that's coming from our special triangles, numbers that we've seen over and over again. They might be plus, they might be negative, any, and all of that. So, cosine of zero degrees. Draw your angle. We're at one comma zero. Think unit circle. The cosine is the adjacent side or the x, and so this is equal to one. Sine of seven pi over four. Over four, you should think 45 degree angle. And we have 7 of them, so we're almost all the way around to 8 pi over 4. And so we can label that with our root 2 over 2s. And the y value is going to be negative because it's gone down. For the sine, we're looking for the opposite or the y value. And so this is just going to be negative root 2 over 2. Just the y value because of the opposite over the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 1. Tangent. Seven, uh, negative pi over 6 is right here. So that's your 30 degree angle. And I overemphasize how small 30 is. So I can see that this is going to be the short side or 1 half. And this is going to be root 3 over 2. Um, this is going to be a negative 1 half. Tangent is opposite over adjacent or the y over the x. And so we get negative 1 half divided by root 3 over 2. But that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So the twos cancel out. You get negative 1 over root 3. So you multiply by root 3 over root 3. And you get negative root 3 over 3. So secant of 120. Draw your 120 degree angle. You're going up like this. So to overemphasize it. So the short side is negative 1 half, and the long side is root 3 over 2. Again, with those 1 halves and root 3 over 2. Secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, which is the x. So I'm going to look at my x value and just flip it right over, negative 2 over 1, or negative 2. Cosecant of 3 pi. So we've gone all the way around once, which is 2 pi, plus another. And so we're over here at negative 1, comma 0, because we've gone to the left. Cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, which is the y. And so it's the reciprocal of 0. There is no reciprocal of 0. 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So we don't have a cosecant value. Cotangent of 5 pi over 4. So think in radians, 45 degrees. We've got 4 pi over 4 and one more than that. So 5 pi over 4. So root 2 over 2 and negative root 2 over 2. Both of them negative because we've gone left and we've gone down. Cotangent, though it doesn't matter so much, is x over y adjacent over hypotenuse. And so negative root 2 over 2 divided by negative root 2 over 2 is equal to 1. Anything divided by itself. Tangent of 240. 
all the way almost to 270. We're 60 degrees past 180. And so we've got negative 1 half and negative root 3 over 2. Short side, 1 half. Long side, root 3 over 2. Tangent is the y over the x. So negative root 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half. Negative root 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. 2's cancel out. You get negative root 3 over 1 or negative root 3 sine of negative pi over 2. So we're going down negative pi over 2. Pi over 2 think half of pi. Pi is half of the way around so this is a quarter of the way around, 90 degrees. This is 0, negative 1 down here. So if I want the y value or the sine value, my y value is negative 1. And cosine of 420. So over 360 We've gone past it. Doesn't make that much of a difference, but we've gone 60 degrees past it. And so we're up here. Again, short side is 1 half. Long side is root 3 over 2. Cosine, we're looking for the x. And so that's the 1 half. And there you have it. Bunch of simplified radical forms. And we'll keep going.